The Bears have claimed an offensive lineman off of waivers. It's almost like me and Poles are on the same page sometimes. I've been talking about the depth on the interior of this line, and now the Bears just claimed guard Logan Stenberg from the Detroit Lions. Stenberg is 6'6", 315 pounds, a former fourth-round pick from the 2020 NFL Draft. He just turned 26 years old. He was an opening day starter for the Lions last year, but only started four games on the year. His pass blocking was abysmal. PFF graded him out with a 15 pass blocking grade, although he only gave up two sacks and 12 pressures in 228 snaps, all at right guard. He had three penalties on the year. Two of his three penalties came on the opening drive of the season. He had back-to-back -back false starts in the red zone, and I think that landed him in the doghouse with the coaching staff right away. He's played in 25 games overall in three years, mostly as a reserve and special teamer. He scored a 6.17 on the relative athletic score, and he does have decent movement skills. His NFL career obviously hasn't been that impressive but he was good enough to earn a starting job for the Lions on opening day last season and had an impressive college career at Kentucky. He started 39 straight games in the SEC and finished with first team all SEC honors. Every scouting report you find on this guy will tell you he's a mauler who plays with a nasty demeanor but had raw technique, powerful hands and grip strength, and he's a patient and aware pass blocker. He had 600 straight snaps to end his college career without allowing a single sack. His weaknesses in the NFL have been getting opportunities on the field, as well as pass blocking and penalties in the brief time he's been on the field. The Lions had one of the best offensive lines in the league, though, and he found himself as a backup his first two years in the NFL. He made his debut last year as a starter and started four games total. I watched all four games he started, including his rough start against the Eagles, and I saw some things to like, but he's still very raw, and he's going to need to work on his technique. He has the size, power, and potential to be a solid backup or even average starter in the NFL, but he needs time with a good offensive line coach like Chris Morgan. If Simo can clean up his technique quickly, then I think Stenberg could stick around. We don't have much on the roster at guard behind Tevin Jenkins and Nate Davis. I like Lucas Patrick strictly as a center, and he can't stay healthy anyway. I'm a fan of Jatari Carter, and I'm going to be watching him closely tomorrow. I also think Alex Leatherwood has some potential too. Also, Gabe Hoy, the undrafted rookie out of Pitt, I want to see what he has as well. But adding another guy to the mix who has power and is hungry definitely does not hurt. Not really a needle mover though, but I do think another team would have claimed this guy if we didn't. He's a young guard who has potential that never really had much of a chance in Detroit. Preseason football is going on right now, and the Bears play tomorrow at noon. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm pretty sure I'm going to live stream for the game tomorrow. I'm watching my fourth preseason game now, and they just don't talk about the guys on the field enough. Let me know what you guys think of this signing. Please hit that like button for me. And until next time, bear down. Be fair. Come over here. <laughs> be fair. Come over What's up, Swift? This is Kyler Gordon. Just want to do a quick shout out to Swift Sports Network with all the latest news on the Bears. Keep doing your thing. Just hope you have a good day, man. And I just want to say bear down.